Many people say, well, yeah, but hang on, the Bible was written a long time ago. How do we know, how can we trust it? How do we know that what we have today is what the original authors wrote? We can be confident, actually, about what the New Testament writers wrote. Through a science called textual criticism. And basically, the idea is this. When you read a book that's a copy of an ancient manuscript of any kind, you can ask two questions of that that's going to help you know that what you are reading is actually very accurate and what the original author wrote. The first is how quickly after the original was written did someone make a copy? Secondly, how many copies are there? For example, Herodotus, written in the 5th century BC, the earliest copy that we have is around AD 900, 1300 year gap. Caesar's Gallic War, 950 year gap between the original and the first copy. Livy's Roman History, 900 year gap between the original and the first copy. And no classical scholar would doubt the authenticity of those works. So how about the New Testament? The books of the New Testament were written between 40 and 100 AD. The earliest copies that we have begin in AD 130. And we have full manuscripts by AD 350. So depending on how you see it, there is at most only a 300 year gap. And at the very least, a 30 year gap between the original and the earliest dated copy that we have. What about the number of copies of each? Herodotus, eight copies. Caesar's Gallic War, 10 copies. Livy's Roman History, 20 copies. The New Testament, 24,000 300 copies, 5,309 Greek manuscripts, 10,000 Latin manuscripts, 9,300 other. You look at this and you see that the New Testament stands out absolutely unapproachably alone amongst ancient prose writings. And it's crucial to, to note that right from the beginning that no secular historian would disagree with that conclusion. You can't trust it. It's 2,000 years old, you know, the New Testament's 2,000 years old, so maybe it got altered over the timeline. What if the wrong people got their hand on the Bible and fudged some stuff, made it say what they wanted to, changed this here, added this here, took this away here? How do you know you're reading the same thing that the eyewitnesses wrote? And that's the accusation. How do you know you can trust this 2,000-year-old document? The way any historian answers that question and that was my major at Carnegie Mellon University, so I know a little bit about this. The way, what you have to do to answer that question is apply what's called the bibliographical test for historical reliability. Fancy words for a very simple idea. You look at two things. The number of ancient manuscripts that have survived history. Like the oldest manuscripts. And you want a lot of those, you know, to show that, ah, it hasn't changed over the years. The other thing you look at is called a blackout period. It's the number of years that passed between when the authors wrote it and the date of our earliest copy of it. For example, Homer's Iliad. Homer's Iliad is an ancient document that has 643 ancient surviving manuscripts. That's a lot. That's good. Way to go, Homer. And only five centuries between when Homer wrote it when Homer wrote the Iliad, and the date of our oldest manuscript copy. That's just five centuries that people could have fudged around with it. That's not a long time. So 643 manuscript copies and just a 500-year blackout period. That's Homer's Iliad, and that's considered the second most reliable ancient text in the world. The number one most reliable ancient text in the world is the New Testament with over 5,000 ancient manuscript copies and no blackout period because our oldest manuscripts date back to the lives of the eyewitnesses themselves. So if somebody wants to say, well, how do you know you can trust the Bible? It hasn't changed over time. We know that it hasn't. Look at the evidence. And people aren't taught this. You think the enemy wants this getting out? But when you research and you want to know the truth, this is what you find. It's like God went out of his way for the skeptics and said, I would, I've got everything for you. No blackout period over 5,000 manuscripts. Here it is. 